Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this, and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will configure SPAN, which stands for Switched Port Analyzer. SPAN copies the traffic from a particular interface and sends it to another interface, which typically leads to a monitoring server to monitor and analyze the traffic passing through the monitored interface. Packet Tracer doesn't include an actual monitoring server, but we'll use a cool feature of Packet Tracer, the simulation mode, to verify that our configurations are working. Let's get started. Okay, the first step is to simply ping from PC2 to PC1. This is just to make sure PC2 completes the ARP process. You may have noticed in these labs that the first ping often fails. That is because of the ARP process not finishing before the ping times out. So let's do that ping. Ping 10.0.1.10. Okay, as you can see, the first ping fails, but then after PC2 learns the MAC address of its default gateway, the following pings succeed. Now let's switch to simulation mode, which is here in the bottom right. This useful feature lets us trace the path of traffic and analyze it at different points in its path. Okay, now let's ping again. Ping 10.0.1.10. Okay, here, you can see the ICMP packet at PC2. Then I click Next, and it is sent to Switch 2, then R2, R1, Switch 1, and arrives at PC1. PC1 then sends the reply back to Switch 1, R1, R2, Switch 2, and then it arrives at the destination, PC2. If I keep clicking here, you can see other traffic being sent, including spanning tree BPDUs from the switches, EIGRP hello packets between the routers, and the other pings sent from PC2 to PC1. Okay, let's return to real-time mode. So, we confirmed that the pings traveled from PC2 in a straight path to PC1. No ICMP packets were sent to server 1. Now let's configure switch 1 to monitor the input and output traffic on its G01 interface and send it to server 1. I'll hop on switch 1 now. Enable, conf t, span is configured right here at global configuration mode with the monitor command. Then type session and give it a number, I'll say 1. Next, we specify the source or destination. The order doesn't matter. Let's do the source. Now, there are multiple types of span, but for the CCNA, you just have to do local span, which means from one interface on the switch to another. So the source will be interface G01. Then finally, I will specify both to monitor both incoming and outgoing traffic on the interface. You could instead specify Rx for ingress, or incoming traffic, or Tx for egress, or outgoing traffic. Okay, next, let's specify the destination interface, which will be G02, because it's connected to server 1. Monitor session 1, destination interface G02. Okay, that's all there is to configuring local span. It's really quite simple. Now let's switch to simulation mode once more and ping from PC2 to PC1 and we'll confirm that copies of the traffic are being sent to server 1. Ping 10.0.1.10 Okay, the ping goes to switch 2, R2, R1, switch 1 and now as you can see it's sent to both PC1 and server 1 because switch1 copied the ICMP packet that came in on its G01 interface and sent it to server1 as well. Notice the red X on server1. That's because server1 discarded the packet. 
in a real situation where server one is an actual monitoring server, this would not happen. Okay, next PC1 sends the reply to switch one, and then the reply is forwarded to R1, and once again, it is also sent to server one. This time, switch one copied the ICMP packet being sent out of the G01 interface. Because we configured the both statement when we configured span, both packets received on and transmitted from the interface will be copied and sent to server one. In this lab, we configured span to monitor traffic on a switch interface. The configuration is quite simple, so please try it out and learn it for your exam. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept cryptocurrency donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.